find the real positive root of 3x minus cos x minus 1 is equal to 0 by Newton's method or Newton's Raphson method correct to 4 decimal places. First you have to write the answer is given 3x minus cos x minus 1 is equal to 0. Let us take f of x is equal to 3x minus cos x minus 1. We have to give positive or negative root we have to find. So I am going to substitute for x 0 f of 0. So 3 into 0 minus cos 0 minus 1 which is equal to 3 into 0 0 cos 0 minus cos 0 1 that is minus cos 0. So minus 1 minus 1 which is equal to minus 2. This is a negative. f of uh, I am taking for x 1. So f of 1 3 into 1 minus cos 1 minus 1 which is equal to 3 minus 1 will be 2 minus cos 1. So 2 minus cos 1 in calculator you have to change the mode to radian. So cos 1 2 minus cos 1 is you have to find using the calculator. So 2 minus cos 1 will be 1.4597 because of 4 decimal places. So the root lies between 0 and 1. Why? Because 0 gives negative. When we substitute 1 gives positive. So negative. Next one is positive. So we have to take these two 0 and 1. So what we are going to find the positive root must lie between this is 0 and 1. Next one is here modulus f of 0. What is modulus f of 0? Let us see. Modulus f of 1. f of 0 value is minus 2. So modulus minus 2 is greater than modulus f of 1 value is 1.4597. So this is a modulus minus 2 value will be plus 2 is greater than 1.4597. 1.4597. Okay, this is very important. So therefore, which is less than, which is less than 2 is greater than 1.4597 is less than so what is the root the 1 1.4597 we have substituted 1 that's why we have got 1.4597 so that's why the root is nearer to 1 so we understand the root the root is nearer to 1 because 2 is right is greater than the value f of 0 modulus f of 0 is greater than modulus f of 1 so f of 1 value will be the least one so that's why least one we have to take nearer to least one so nearer to 1 we have to select the initial value or the initial approximation so for example let us take x0 which is equal to 0 0.6 or 0 0.7 or 0 0.8 or 0 0.9 so whatever you want you can take you will get the same answer answer will be the same so the neutral raphson formula is neutral raphson formula is x n plus 1 which is equal to xn minus f of xn divided by f dash of xn. So now you know very well f of x 
which is equal to that is given in the problem 3x minus cos x minus 1 f dash of x which is equal to 3 minus of cos x if you are differentiating minus sin x minus 1 this can be written this will be 0 not minus 1 minus 1 if you are differentiating 0 so therefore 3 plus sin x so f dash of x is equal to 3 plus sin x so next approximation is this is a formula okay so next approximation is x1 x1 is equal to because x naught already we have taken 0 0.6 x1 is equal to here in the formula n is equal to 0 means 0 plus 1 x1 so xn for n you have to substitute 0 so x naught minus f of x naught divided by f dash of x naught f of x naught divided by f dash of x naught so what is the for x naught you have to substitute 0 0.6 minus f of 0 0.6 divided by f dash of 0 0.6 this is you know very well what is f of x already we have written here f of x is equal to 3x minus cos x minus 1 for x you have to apply 0 0.6 so 0 0.6 minus 3 into 0 0.6 minus cos into 0 0.6 minus 1 divided by whole divided by 3 plus sin x for x is 0 0.6 so using calculator calculator should be in the mode radian right so using the calculator you will get 0 0.6 minus minus of 0 0.025 3 divided by so 3.5646 right so this will be the answer 0 0.6071 so x1 is equal to 0 0.6071 this is x1 so in this way you have to find for x2 so x1 we have got first iteration we have completed next you have to find the second iteration so x2 is equal to the same uh, formula x2 is equal to x2 minus f of x2 divided by f dash of x2 so what is x2 0 0.6071 minus f of 0 0.6071 divided by f dash of 0 0.6071 okay so now you have to apply in the formula 0 0.6071 minus 3x 3 into 0 0.6071 plus minus cos 0 0.6071 minus 1 whole divided by 3 plus sin 0 0.6071 so using calculator you can get the answer 0 0.6071 minus 0 0.6071 4 decimal places 4 decimal places so you have to fix your in your calculator you have to fix 4 decimal places you have to press the mode button there you will see the fix so fix press the fix button next you have to press 4 so four decimal places so that's why x2 is equal to 0 0.6071 the value is so x1 as well as x2 both are equal 
so x2 x1 is equal to x2 which is equal to 0 0.6071 so hence the better hence the better approximation better approximation is or better approximation or root is 0 0.606071 this is the best approximation root suppose if you are taking first initially I have taken x0 is equal to 0 0.6 suppose if you are taking 0 0.7 you will get the same answer suppose if you are getting 0 0.8 if you are taking 0 0.8 you will get the same answer but iteration will be different x1 x2 we have got the answer if we have taken 0 0.6 suppose if we are taking 0 0.5 we may get x2 x3 or x3 x4 or x5 x6 okay any one of it thank you